of last year, Helena Rowland was actually joining as well when she was waiting to kick off against us. It's so hard not to just be like soaked up in that excitement and that buzz. Like, I think actually, like, coffee. (laughs) <laughs> going to get coffee, oh, drinking can't, can't coffee. Bro, and Kaylee, Kaylee got lucky there again, <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Access Scotland Camp, connecting you to your team. You have me, Emma Wassell, your host, and to my right we have... Holly Rowley. And to my left... Katie Mattinson. Uh, the TikTok Women Six Nations has kicked off and we are excited to have the opportunity to host the show and engage with you throughout the campaign. Right, week one, how are we feeling, girls? Yeah, good. Feeling, you know, not not the worst that we've ever been after we've played England, which is a bonus. Um, it was a good game. I think we, we performed well and, you know, there's things that we can fix, but we know that. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. I think, um, yeah, like Chloe says, spirits are pretty high. Um, we had a good review today. We know where we can get some easy wins next week. If we, like, translate a couple of things from training onto the pitch, um, then I think we're in a different place going into into Wales this week. So yeah, things are positive. Tough tough result, but we'll uh, take the wins where we can. It is. I can say I was I was unfortunately in the crowd, but yeah, um, I'm sure we heard that as well. Actually, yeah. <laughs> it was a it was a pretty special crowd to be part of. Did you did you feel the ten thousand fans? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think that w- it was really loud. Probably like with it being an away game when we had conceded and we were under the post like actually trying to listen to (laughs) each other's like points and stuff when there's like that packed south stand was absolutely ridiculous like it was actually quite difficult to hear um but that's cool I feel like it wasn't an away game it was really bizarre it was almost like it was at home there was like when we done something well like the even then the crowd was still going crazy just as much as what you know if England done something well it 100%. was it was so comforting and it was yeah. just so nice to be like a part of that and have so many people behind us still away from home no it was it was loud yeah. like and for both sides um obviously I would say that last 10 minutes was the most animated yeah. but um no it was it was an incredible crowd to be part of um I know that was obviously a big game for the legend that is Sarah Hunter um and that was her home ground, but it was also your home. Yeah. Uh, playing yeah. home for you, really. Yeah, I grew up in the northeast, so um, it was really special. Lots and lots of people that um, I grew up playing rugby with or supported me on my journey um, were there in the crowd, and um, that was really nice, a uh, really nice moment for, for me. Um, felt very at home, very comfortable in Geordie land. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear them. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, plenty of positives to take from the game, and hopefully we can bring that in to next week. It's been a busy year in the community game with some exciting action across the board. This week for the community clips, we'll be reviewing some of the best tries from the Women's Premiership and National Leagues. Oh, Oh, the dummy. Oh, nice. The support. Always there on the shoulder. Nice. It's good, yeah, good try. Sniff the space. Mm. No, it's good. She attacks the line, takes up to the line. She's got options no, you know with what? it at the line. Okay. Oh. You know what it is I think I like about that is the hooker that then receives the offload, she's the one that is deceiving the eye line, which makes a space for the 10. Yeah, it's true. classic, yeah, classic true. forwards doing <laughs> doing the work uh, to give, yeah, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. No, I like mm-hmm. that. I see that. But she never gives up as well. Always there on the shoulder. Be good. Nice. Now we have Caitlin Haldane from Greenock Wanderers. Some good width. Oh, nice, nice. hands. Yeah, I know Greenock isn't in blue. Greenock is not in blue. Oh, oh, here it comes. comes. There we are. Full She's length, going. Nearly. Oh, the chase is on now. Pinder ears right back. Oh, oh the the space. Little in and out. Class. Go on, so go good. On. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, and Caitlin, almost the offload. Caitlin got lucky there again, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that was Caitlin's to take, but fair play, fair play. It's all about the support. Oh, it's our own Fran. Go on. Our debutant. Oh, nice, nice little ball in behind. Oh, oh she's and gone. She's gone. Oh, nice. We saw that fin at the Some weekend as well. Speed, yeah, yeah, the acceleration, unreal. And a little dive at the end there. Nice. I can relate to that, I'm going to try. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'd love to see the offload. 
Pins the ears back so she Who goes. Who on? Fair play. Wow. Alana skeldon that is. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. nice. Good tries in there. Now time for our favourite part of the show, I think. Uh, our team <laughs> have collected videos and questions from the TikTok Women Six Nations launch event earlier this month. So let's have a watch. Hey, I'm the Prop Life and I'd really like to know, what's your favourite hobby outside of rugby? What is your favourite hobby outside rugby from the Prop Life? Oh, coming to me first, were you there? Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything outdoors, like anything where I can just like get into the wild, um, whether that's like in the sea, up a mountain, in the hills, whatever, that's where I'm at my happiest probably. It is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, <laughs> I remember that, uh, that trip to the Marines camp, you were oh, quite in my element. In oh, your yeah. element. You, were, you were meant to be there, yeah. Concerning, uh, not for me. Um, <laughs> um, I'm was gonna say the same thing, like just walking my dogs, being up in the in the hills, out in the in the wild, and but then I remembered my recent love of escape rooms. Oh, I have got an obsession with escape yeah. rooms now, and I like it's an hour of your day, it's but I just live for it. No, like, I'm a hundred percent with you, Chloe. Like <laughs> so much fun, so good. Like just, like, just you think you're unbeatable by the end of it. Like yeah. you get out. Sometimes you don't get no, out. No, I was always saying you get out. No, one time I didn't get out. Just I, uh, puzzles for grown ups, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Love it. I love Not it. Not my strong point. <laughs> I you know. Were fine. I know. <laughs> you are going to be surprised by you're that. Too it's, it's them. You must be too smart for them. You must be too smart for them. My own hobby. What would be my hobby? Uh... I think actually, like coffee, going <laughs> to get coffee, oh, drinking can't, coffee, can't making coffee. Yeah, but I'm passionate about talking it. Talking about coffee? It's a hobby. You sit and have groups where you talk about coffee, yeah. It's a passion and <laughs> and it's my hobby. Next question. Hi, my name's Frankie and my question is, what's your favourite away game in Six Nations? Right, Frankie wants to know, favourite away game? Can we go, go, go first, first this time? Yeah. My favourite away game is probably one of the toughest ones, but it's the biggest atmosphere and it'll have to be in France. I think just when you get there, it just feels like they're so into their rugby. They've got their flags, they've got their brass band, they've got everything that you just makes you feel amazing. Like it's, oh, it's, it's great. It's hard, but it's great. Yeah, I, I haven't played there for Scotland yet, but I'm super <laughs> excited about it. Um, I think that's like, it is a big atmosphere, isn't it? Like there's uh, no denying that like those French bands as well. There's always drums yeah. and stuff. Like yeah. it's always super loud. Like The French yeah. will boo. Yeah, they will boo. Yeah, yeah they'll absolutely. boo everything that you do. And, and yeah, you're, you're going for a treat. There's, you're there's really in for a treat. It's like that. It's, it's, not a, it's a challenge, isn't it? Like yeah. it's just got to go and enjoy hands, it. Yeah. I think how, mm, yeah, I think it's hard. To, uh, hard to argue with France being probably the best in terms of the atmosphere and what what they bring, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with France too. Hi, I'm the Chatty Prop, and I'm gonna ask you to show me your best goose step. <gasps> oh, Chloe, that's a job for you. <laughs> the Chatty Prop would like you to show her your best goose step. That isn't actually my strongest point, a goose step. You can um, give it a shot. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> Next. Hey, right, I'm Ben John, and the question is, in Space Jam, they take someone's talent by touching the ball. So if you could give this ball to someone and take talent from them, add to your game, who would it be and what skill would it be that you take from them? Such a good question. Such a good question. Anyone want to take this one? I've got mine in mind. Go on then. And mine isn't less of a, like, physical skill. It's more like a um, like mental and visual skill, and it would be Emily Scarlett, just the way that she sees the game and the way that she plays the game, like, for me, like as being a fullback would just be like amazing to have that and it would just make the game so much better. I mean, as someone who has briefly played alongside her, the, the things she can see and how she directs yeah. people around her, um, yeah, it's a, it's a skill. Someone just watch. Like. <laughs> you? Uh, I'm probably going to say Anton Dupont. I just think he makes magic happen around him. And sometimes, like, some of the things he did this Six Nations, you're like, ow. Yeah. Um, and it's, he's just class, isn't he? So any little ounce of his game, I would really like That's to a have. good one. That's a good one. Fair. You? That is fair. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe, you know what, if we're going to stick with kind of our, our roles uh, as a second row, I would say Richie Gray. He is... Fair, his yeah. strong one. His line out ability, and as we've seen in that England game, the hands, the soft oh, hands. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was good. It was good. So I'm gonna say him. So this weekend, back at the dam. 
<laughs> Wales, our favourite game. Um, how are we feeling for it? Yeah, excited. I'm so, so excited. After, you know, the weekend um, playing against England, I think the next step is to, you know, go out and just give it our all against Wales. I think well, us as a squad are, are always excited to play Wales. I think we're always interested to see how, how we play and what we can bring to them. Yeah, 100%. Um, playing at home, playing at the dam has been so fun, hasn't it? Like that atmosphere and um, even like little things like the music and the build up and stuff, just like scoose bump time and it's yeah, real special. So couldn't be more excited really. I think Wales is is the perfect first first home game for us. Yeah. Um, that's that's obviously the last, I suppose, one of the last teams we played that is in the Six Nations. Um, and we will be hoping for a very different result. <laughs> yeah, different outcome. <laughs> no, um, I don't see why not. Like no, we're, we're in the best place possible. Like 100%. especially with you know our new attack coach Chris coming in and like changing some few things here and there and like giving us the confidence to just want to go out and just like yeah you know play some rugby yeah yeah 100 percent. everyone's got a real buzz about the way that we're playing as well so like the more that that click clicks week on week like it's super exciting what do we think is the best thing about playing at damn health why is it so good why is it so good uh for me personally it would mm. be when you come out the changing room and you've just got the queues of people lined up on either side waiting for you to walk through giving you an a, a like applauding you like just giving you that last bit of like push and encouragement that you could need to step on that pitch and perform the best that you can i know i think i remember when we first got told we were going to play there it was a bit like it's a bit of a walk onto the pitch and <laughs> that was going to be we're divas we no. cannot walk that far <laughs> no, it, was, it was something that was considered but actually it's one of the best parts yeah, i would 100%. say of playing there of yeah. actually having that time to walking and there is is fans at the sides and then yeah. obviously before you get get into onto the pitch what about you uh, for me, it's probably just that, like, 20 seconds before kickoff, mm. where Loch Lomond's playing, and uh, everyone's getting into it, the crowd's clapping, like, it's so hard not to just be, like, soaked up in that excitement and that buzz, like, it's just a real special moment. That's, that's, that's goosebump time. Yeah, yeah 100%. Very, very gets, special. Gets everyone going, I think, even to the point of last year, Helena Rowland was actually joining as I well when she was waiting to kick off against she us. Even she was about singing. That. She was like, like, it was so good. I think it was sunny as well. Actually. It was, yeah. It was, it was. We were just so lucky that day. Yeah. Well, yeah. A packed out Dam Hill Stadium against Wales is actually the stuff dreams are made of. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, get yourself tickets for the game this weekend. It is a 5 30 kickoff, and you can get them from scotchrugby.org. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in to Access Scotland Camp. We'll be back ahead of our visit to France. Uh, keep an eye on all Scottish Rugby social media for more information. Thanks again, Chloe Rowley and Kate Madison, and we shall see you soon. <laughs>